Hey guys, Skinboy3000 here once again, and today is a quick dumb video. Uh, how much performance could I get the stock D-Series up to? I'm using a racing wheel with a like, full-on manual shifter and everything. Let's see what we can do. I'll pull up to the line, right there. And give us a launch. And let's see what we can do on this lap. I've given myself a couple practice laps in the stock D-Series. And then I've given myself like a million laps in the other D-Series. So I should have an advantage in the other one. But I still have driven this one around this track. So I'm not a complete newbie at it. I know where to break and stuff. Stuff like that. I'm not a master at it. Probably could take this corner flat out. But I don't want too much understeer. This is a completely bone stock V8 four wheel drive D series. No thrills. It's the default vehicle when you load up the game. Do not mind the wing mirrors or the rear view mirrors. I don't have dynamic reflections on because uh, I forgot to turn the mech on after last video. A hundred seventy miles an hour. And to do a little bit of correction there, a little bit there, but it's not a hard corner. There's actually a pretty good corner right there. I'll be a little bit early on the brakes here, but better be early than too late. Otherwise, you skip the chicane entirely, or hit a hit a wall. That's another possibility. And where you see the steering wheel in game is exactly where I have my wheel in real life. So that's pretty cool. You get a one to one ratio for that. And right now. This is an automatic vehicle, so that's why you don't hear any uh, loud shifting noises. You will hear it for a next vehicle, though. Because I'll try to use uh, the full-on gear lever and everything. I could use the paddles. I am faster with the paddles, but I'll try with the gear lever. I kind of do need practice on it anyways. And across the line. Give it up for the Bone Stock D Series. Next up is still a D Series, so we need to find it. There it is. And we're going to use a uh, long bed tune I've got, as it's what I am most familiar with. A long bed might give us a little bit of a disadvantage on like turning radius, but look at what I've done here. I've given it quite a number of upgrades. It's got Hood cowl, lights up top, it's got front splitter, side pipes, bed cover, roll bar, a spoiler, fat race tires, look at those. And yeah, uh, interior should still be mostly stock D-series except for the wheel. And this is a full manual, so that does mean everything you see will be me. Race brakes are uh, pretty squeaky, so be ready for that. Ready, go. I do need to do all the rev matching myself. Ooh. 
The engine is upgraded, but it's not as powerful as you would think. 7 liter supercharged V8, but stage 1 only. A little bit deep, I was trying to rev match and didn't get on the brakes hard enough. I still think we will be significantly faster than the stock D series though. More race squeaks, or race brake squeaks. We are already faster than the other D-Series, 6th gear. Over 130 miles an hour. Again, easy turn. Probably could have taken more speed through it, but oh well. Now up here it is a little bit tricky, with a truck with this much horsepower going to the back wheels only. I uh, can just randomly oversteer. Thankfully we were good there. A little bit of oversteer there, I corrected it. The front splitter does hit the ground ever so slightly, but it's no big deal. And across the line. Overall, it's a really good truck I built here. It's based off my real life truck that is dubbed Poison Ivy by the previous owner. But, it's not too bad. This truck's got a lot of changes to it versus the stock D-Series, but it is still all stock parts. So that's something cool, I guess. So, give it up for the racing D-Series that beats the stock one by a mile. I guess to nobody's surprise. Some celebratory donuts are in place. All right. It's a limited slip death. So, one tire fire it is. <laughs> That'll be it for this dumb video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like or something. If I ever upload this.